Howdy, David from Figma here. In this video, we'll dive into Figma Design Smart Animate and create two awesome animations from scratch. First, we'll design a looping animation where four colorful elements smoothly merge at the center, forming a seamless continuous motion. Then we'll build a hover triggered animation where a circle grows in size and changes color, giving a polished and fun interactive feel. Click on the community file in the video description to follow along and build as you watch. Let's go. Once you're in the file, make your way to the page titled Loading Animation 1. Zoom in to read the animation description and some of the details we're going to add. Zoom out a tad and grab your first frame in the toolbar. Hold down Shift and make this exactly 100. Zoom in a tad and grab an ellipse. Hold down Shift to make it exactly 24. Bring it up to the top left. While selected, hit Control D and bring this over. Left click over both of those, hit Control D and bring this down. Left click and select all of them and change the spacing to 24 on vertical and horizontal. Hit enter and center. Click on the first circle and let's make this red. Click on the second circle and let's make this a green. Click on the third circle, let's make it purple. And click on the fourth circle and we'll go with a blue. Click on frame one and hit control D. Left click over all of those shapes and rotate 90 degrees. Select frame two and hit control D. Left click over all of those shapes, lock the aspect ratio and change all of them to be 60 height, which will change it to 60 width. Snap to center, align and snap to center and bring that to the center of the frame. Switch to prototype mode and select frame one. Click on the right side of that frame and connect it to frame two. Here's where I'm gonna change those settings. The trigger should be set to after delay and the delay set to 100 milliseconds. Change the curve to custom 300 milliseconds and you can add these numbers in right here or copy them from this card. Click on frame two, animate frame two to go to frame three. Make sure the trigger is set to after delay at 100 milliseconds, and you'll see the animation curve and duration are saved from the previous one. Lastly, do the same and connect frame three to frame one, and make sure that the trigger is set to after delay. There we go. Select the play button, and you can see that animation happening in real time. Now that I have my animation, I wanna use it over and over again and not have to create it again. To do so, we're going to make a component set. Switch back to design mode, left click and drag over all of your frames, go to your create component options and make a component set. Hold down shift and select those three frames within the component set and take away the fill. Let's zoom out a bit and grab ourselves a frame. Hit the F key, select iPhone 16. Let's change this to black. Toggle your prototype settings to be the iPhone 16 and go back to design. Hold down your option key, left click and select that first frame and bring it to the center of your iPhone 16 frame. Click the iPhone 16 frame, hit shift space, and you'll see your animation right there. You can use this animation wherever you'd like, on UI designs, websites, and more. You can even do really cool things like duplicating your design and just have fun. Now that you've made your first component set, there's so much you can do when making animations in Figma design. Let's make one more. Head to Loading Animation 2. On this page, you'll see a description of the animation and the settings of the animation itself. I'm gonna zoom over here and scroll really close in and make a frame that is actually pretty small. I'm gonna set it to 40. Zoom on in, make sure you're in design mode, grab an ellipse, and make this 20. Bring it to the center. Next, click on your frame one, hit Control D, zoom out to see both. Click on the second ellipse, hold down shift option, and make this about 32. Change the second ellipse to be a blue. Click on frame one while in prototype mode and connect frame one to frame two. Here we're gonna set the trigger to mouse enter. We're gonna have the curve be ease in at 300 milliseconds. Exit out there, select frame two to go to frame one. Here we're actually going to set an after delay. So after the mouse enters, there's going to be a delay for that animation to go back. The delay is gonna be set at 800 milliseconds and the duration we're going to change to 900 milliseconds. Make sure that's set to an ease in curve. Exit out here. Zoom out a bit, left click and select over both of these frames, go to design mode and make this a component set. Here I'm gonna hold down shift on both of these and take away the fill and make this first ellipse actually be by double clicking white. You can barely see it. Let's go ahead and check this out. It's very tiny. 
but I'm going to grab a frame by hitting the F key, go to iPhone 16, and make this iPhone 16 fill entirely black. Zoom in and hover over that little white circle. Hold down Option to get your duplication cursor. Left click while that is selected and bring it in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and make an array. Select this frame and hit Control D. This is a component frame. Snap it to the right side of that first frame. Hit Control D again to make three. Hit Control D to make four, five, and Control D again to make six. Left click and drag over all six of these and hit Control D. Bring that down to snap to the bottom of those frames. Hit Control D a another time, another time, another time, and one more time to make an array of 36. Left click over all of these. While those are selected, bring them to the very center. Scroll out, click on frame 16, hold shift space, and now watch what happens. When I go to my prototype and I hover over the frames of those animations, some really cool things happen. You can definitely play around with the durations of things, the colors, the size of things, and the curves to get different feels for this interactive animation. You could even fill the whole frame and have a lot of fun. Now let's go ahead and click on the Animation Playground. The animation Playground is a playground of possibilities, showing you the finalized animations that you made and can check right here, as well as some other fun loading animations made with multiple frames. You can always click on prototype mode and see how these loading animations were created, checking on the animation settings themselves, as well as playing the animation to see how it floats. This is a page to inspire you to create all of them or different animations over in the large canvas provided in Figma Design. Hope you had fun making some loading animations in Figma Design. Cheers.